In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a Excel spreadsheet into your MailChimp contacts. The uh, reason you might do this is if you are uh, going to some type of event and you uh, collected emails or something like that, you might come up with a list and you might want to get those into your MailChimp. Uh, you might have uh, a list of emails from an old program or just good emails you've collected over the years. Um, so there's always going to be a lot of examples where you would actually be importing uh, emails into our uh, MailChimp accounts. So this is just a ChatGPT generated list of fake emails. Uh, I tried this earlier with at test.com, but it was rejected by MailChimp. It knew they were fake, so I just changed these to Gmail. So we'll try that. Uh, first things first that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have this uh, saved as a CSV. So if you need to do that, just go to File, Save As, and uh, you can kind of pick pick over there, File, Save As, and you can pick what you need it to be from there. So we're gonna go CSV with that. Uh, just works a little bit smoother with MailChimp. Uh, once we have that, we're gonna come over to our MailChimp dashboard, and you'll see I'm in the All Contacts uh, tab over here from the Audience section. We are going to click add contacts and we're going to import contacts and we're going to have a few choices over here we can manually copy and paste import from another service or we can upload our file over here um, using our csv file so we're going to do that we're going to click upload file and we're just going to grab it from our computer so uh, we'll just drag that file over there, and we have our random emails.csv. We will hit, click continue, and uh, from here we can choose which audience we want to import these into. Uh, we only have the one audience, so there's nothing for us to select there. Uh, and we only have two contacts, so we're not going to have uh, any existing contacts. Uh, but sometimes, if you're going from one system to another, you might have people overlapping. And here's where you can decide if you want to uh, update them or just kind of maybe make them duplicates if needed. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you can put tags on it to help differentiate your different audiences. So, you know, we can throw on a, a 2024 tag. Um, if it was a certain event, we might want to indicate that, that we grabbed these contacts uh, by getting people to sign up for the email at the event. And, uh, and it's going to ask us to uh, match the columns of the Excel spreadsheet to uh, the MailChimp system, and it was able to do it automatically. Uh, sometimes it's not sure, and you have to go and kind of map it section by section, but this is pretty simple, first name, last name, email address. So let's go ahead and continue with that. And then we have a decision to make. Um, are these contacts subscribed or unsubscribed? Uh, if these contacts came from an uh, from a, from some sort of a event, they're going to be unsubscribed because they haven't manually confirmed that they want to be on the email list. So we'll mark them as unsubscribed, and then we probably just have to send them an email uh, asking um, if they want to indeed be subscribed to our email list. Uh, verify all the information, and we're going to click complete import and it was completed it worked so that's good uh, we're going to go over and view all of our contacts over here and everything's in there we are unsubscribed as noted and finally the last thing i'm going to do uh, now that i have this in here is i'm actually going to delete it because these kind of sort of look like really email addresses. So I'm gonna go up here and delete it. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna show you this real quick. You have your subscribe emails over here, which were the two uh, that I've done in previous videos. Um, and we have our 27 total contacts there. Uh, we are just going to delete these 25. So let's go click that and click our delete. And we'll just put that, I want to clean up my audience right there. It's making us type archive. And once we do that, they will be deleted. 